Hey everybody, it's Wolvash. Welcome back to the Beast Inside. Um, oh, look at that. It's... It's a Jesus. Hello, Jesus. Let's sit Jesus down. And... It's a Mary. It's a me, Mary. Oh, look at that. Whoa, Jesus is so much smaller than Mary. I know he's her son, but... He did grow up at some point. Why is also, is Mary stepping on the serpent? That's usually the Jesus role is to step on the serpent. Okay, whatever. I'm digging into things that don't matter. Um, we're going back out. Um, back in the 1970s, having discovered a little bit about our ancestor. I don't know what we're doing though. Uh, show the diary to Emma. Where is Emma? She's been hiding this whole time. Emma! Are you in the... Oh, somebody closed all our doors. Because I haphazardly left them open. Emma! Honey, you won't believe oh, what there I found. she is. Hey, Emma? Can you hear me? Emma! Emma! I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... Power is out, by the way. Diary, what? A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? Oh, I think I know why we hit you with an axe at the beginning of the game. <laughs> All right, go to the basement. We can go to the basement. Something bad only happened in the past. Now this says there's a clue. Thank God I can work remotely now, so I don't have to set my alarm for 6 a.m. Um, yep. Thank God. It's not a clue. What's her problem? She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. Did you? Because that'd be funny if you did. What do you know? The power is out. I need a flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe I can find one in the attic. There's why of junk in there? Why would Why would you store the flashlights in the attic? Why would you make it so you have to climb up the stairs into a dark crawl space to get the thing to be able to see in the dark? Think, man, think. What is our name? She's Emma. I don't remember who we are. Maybe we don't have a name. More likely that I just forgot it. That's that's more in line with what I do. Okay. I don't see a flashlight. Is it up the up the second set of stairs? Wait, what is this? Oh, that's the flashlight? Well, call me crazy for not recognizing it. I was looking for a normal like a torch, if you would. Okay, let's go check the fuse box before Emma gets all Pissy with us again. You didn't test it before we came down? There you go. God's sake. Just, just, <laughs> I wasn't scared. That was just a wooden horse. This horse will haunt me in my dreams. Why? It's like a perfectly normal horse. What is this? I want to see what it's... I can't see it. Fine. Where are the fuses? Usually the fuse box, but... Ooh, a safe. Oh, no, another old TV. This place is just littered with old broken TVs. Another axe. Axe in the basement. Axe in the... Attic. Another axe? Yeah, you know something's wrong when this guy owns three axes in his house. I don't even remember if we saw one like in the shed outside. Also, giant chemical barrel. Why does he have that? It's an antique, but in mint condition. That's what I like. Doesn't look like it's been affected by the ravages of time, so maybe I can use it to break a few Russian ciphers. 
I mean, it'll hold your paper up like any other, you know, flat surface. But yeah, sure. I'm sure it being antique will help out. You know what they say, antique desk puts Russian ciphers to the test. Um, here we go. Next to a concrete uh, walled off part of the house. That's probably not good. There's a key on the inside. Can I have it? No? You're just going to tease me with it? Okay, I see how it is. Yeah, we're missing a fuse. Strange, one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? Search the shed. Maybe there's a spare fuse in the shed by the house. Okay. Again, you guys keep your stuff in the weirdest places. Spare fuses? Maybe near the fuse box. Oh, there we go. All right, good. He, oh, I like how he automatically turns off the flashlight so we're not wasting time. More toxic chemicals stored out here in the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. What is this? Sorry, I have to see. Oh, it's just a collapsed log. Okay. It was weirdly shaped and oddly colored, so I had to see what it was, but um, nothing special. Nothing to get your knickers in a twist about. Uh, okay, can't go in that way. More toxic barrels. Why? People don't keep those in their home. There's not a reason for people to have them. The only reason you have those is to like for body disposal. Speaking of bloody footprints. Damn, there are no fuses here. Of course. What the f it's just blood, and yet two more axes. One here, what and where's the other one I saw? Where did all the blood come from? I saw another one. Where was it? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. I thought I saw one. Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? Quantum localizer. I can't make much sense of it, but I trust the author knew what he was writing about. Quantum localizer, sensors, electromagnetic, electromagnetic and quantum modules, enhanced VLF display, lasers, two Ferga, and lithium laser modules. Impulse, scanter, impulsometer, Mark II, life, uh, greater than 12,000 hours, weight 420 grams. Allows an in-depth analysis of kinetic energy preserved in so-called quantum traces, enabling the user to identify silhouettes of people or other living organisms whose past present in a given fragment of the space-time continuum has left behind detectable clusters of waves and particles. So are we trying to put a little sci-fi into this? Like this is the reason why we're able to see back in the time? This is what's happening here. We've got this piece of equipment floating around somewhere that's doing this. What the heck? It's handheld? The localizer can detect and analyze so-called quantum traces, which enable us to see short flashbacks of people from the past, including their precise locations and activities. I've never had the chance to use it in the field, but we were ordered to carry one just in case. I'd much rather get a gun than another oddity from the AK to the CIA. No, I'd much rather have this. It's way ahead of its time. A shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? Should we quantum analyze it? Is that a thing we can do? Uh, quantum localizer. I guess not. I guess we'll be told when we can analyze something. Uh, where'd that beer can go? No, not, not the cup. Not that either. What? <laughs> I keep throwing it. I wanted this. I want to read it. There we go. Fizz. Same name, same classic taste. Fizz. Now you can throw it. Oh, look, now it's up. It pulled up on its own.
No, get rid of that. What's happening here? There's a very narrow window that it's letting me do that. What in the world? I don't know. I don't know why it's doing it. It's popping out uh, here and there, but uh, can we throw it at the wall? Oh, oh. it would have been cool if it stuck. So, <laughs> and now it doesn't. What? How did, what? <laughs> I have this thing, but it means nothing to me right now. Okay. Whatever, man. What? Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. Emma? Honey? Is this when I scan it? Come on. Be a man. You're really disoriented there. This is this is a weird not right. Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. This is a weird Wait, plot device. Training. What did they say? Press to equip and unequip. This icon informs you the cloud is near, okay? Huh. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who was here in a different time. This is weird, man. I was not expecting this. This has jumped into some sci-fi hooey. The localizer. Green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go, and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud. Okay, well thanks for explaining that after I got walking away, but we can keep this up. I don't need to work too hard at it now. This is the place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud, and I need to scan it. The signal must be coming from this place. Now I just have to use the scanner on this cloud. Got it. The localizer found something. What is it? Use the device to scan a cloud. We did that. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. All right. Well, it wants me to go in this direction. The fuse is missing. Some clothes are lying all covered in blood and a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. On the other hand, thank God we have this weird sci-fi tech from the future. The quantum cloud visible, otherwise I won't see a thing. I'm at the source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. What it interference? Must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize it. What? Due to their nature, clouds can be unstable and their readability may be affected by anomalies. In this case, you'll have to destroy them all. Find the anomalies in your surroundings. You can make it easier by using B. Yeah, I gotcha. What? Destroying anomalies. To destroy an anomaly, hit it with an EMP charge fired from your device. Old RT, release to fire an EMP charge. The highlighted area around the localizers. Okay. Is this it? Okay, I guess not. What in the world? There's the anomaly. Now I have to charge the localizer and hit it with a beam. Okay, I'm just gonna aim in that direction. That should do it. I'm 
stabilize the cloud. What is happening? <laughs> this is so weird. I did it. Clearly someone was here recently and used this rope. Oh, okay. I'll try to find more traces. With this I can reach much further than my hand. Very useful in the field. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Aren't you a crypto analyst guy? Like, what are you doing in the field? Your place is very much behind a desk. The localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. What the heck, dude? This this took a weird turn. I was I was a guy in the in a haunted house, and now I'm like scanning for quantum fluctuations in the forest with my 1970s quantum analyzer and diffuser gun. <laughs> All right, here we go. Scanning. It must have went up from here. Sure. Uh... Did that not work? Uh, we'll just keep trying. That works. Can I have the rope back? Nope, it was a one-time... one-time use. Just like in real life. It's not even dry yet. Whatever happened here, it hasn't been long. Oh, okay. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. I say so much blood, I didn't see any, but uh, we weren't quite there yet. I clearly drag something heavy through that gate. Okay, find another way. Damn, the gate is closed. I need to look for a way around. I think we can do that. This is, this is silly, man. Can I move this stuff? Some planks are loose. I gotta break them out. Yeah. Man, I had a good stretchy arm going there. It didn't, it didn't work though. Oh, it goes the opposite way that you think it would. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. We made it work. We wanted to get back around somewhere. Oh, it's another little pond. That one has a boat in it. Of course, we don't need it if it's uh, as shallow as the other pond that we have. Blood hasn't dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. Do you have a phone? You have this cool fancy thing, but do you have a phone? Because a phone would be a good thing to have back out here. To find, you know, blood trails and stuff. Where you live. Might want to call the authorities at some point. <laughs> Maybe your CIA overlords. Closed. Just closed. Why did you assume I wanted to skip this? This is what we're working for here. Peekaboo. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that... <laughs> Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. I better check what the localizers detected before I go in. I mean, it's just a deer hanging, but you do what you gotta do. Okay, it's over here. We can do it. This is just a knot, right? Like, you'll figure this out? Or not? No pun intended. There's a way back here, right?
This beast is within a whole lot of uh, other nonsense. All right, we're going to need to climb up this, I, I assume. Come on. Come on. Moving it with our psychic powers. All right. Let's go see what's going on with our Ghostbusters tech. Who's hiding in the barn? Anomaly detected. Multiples, it looks like. Got it. Space invaders. Got it. Round two goes to me. Three anomalies. Now we can scan this, right? Who is he? What did he hide here? Uh, that's a good question. I thought I saw something. Um, that's the knife. knife. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it, just in case. Yeah, we pulled that out of a head at the beginning of the game. Time to go back to the barn. Maybe I can find a side entrance. Get into the barn. Can we cut through this rope? There you go. <laughs> nice. All right. Back into the barn. I need to try to get inside. You said a side entrance. And since we were on one side, I'm assuming it's another side you want to get into. I like this, the sawing. I also like how we try to cut through the thickest part of the knot. <laughs> I can see why the CIA hired us. We're, we're real thinkers. Bring it down. I guess we just automatically get our rope back, kind of like Spider-Man. Okay. See, I told you it's just a deer. These are freaking out over nothing. Move this, move this giant plank that would weigh probably a hundred something pounds. This is an eight by eight. Yeah, this is a this is a this is a heavy piece of timber. And nope, we have nothing that would unlock it. Unfortunately, what is this? Is this the torture section of the barn? God, who could have done this? This wasn't just some poacher. More like a fucking sadistic hunter. Why does it wait? That beeping. It's as if it's coming from the inside. The animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. It's not as if it's coming from inside. It's clearly coming from inside. Oh, more, huh? Come on. You throw like my granny. Can you climb? Do you need a box? You need a box to stand on. Do you need a booster seat? Feels like there should be one, right? Hello, booster seat anywhere. No? What? 
We should be able to cut down from there. You know what? Let's let's cut our way out of here. Maybe this leads. Just yeah. To reach the ladder and climb up. I told you we needed a booster. But I guess we need to open this first. All right. Let's push this box way across the floor. There's already some bloody boot and handprints on it. Wait, what are you stuck on? Come on. Okay, you suck at this. You need to pull, huh? You're not good at pushing. Alright, that looks good enough. There we go. Easy as pie. Simple as cake. <laughs> That's some kung fu noises right there. Alright. Let's see what's in the deer. Lots of guts. Don't wake up, deer. Come on. Reach your hand in there. You wanted to go this route, now go. Oh, this is sick. I think I'm gonna puke. Come on, puke. Put your money where your mouth is. It is a fuse and what else? What's all this equipment? And why was it in Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well there is the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. In our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got a goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. Okay, the fuse is all but a working order. Someone like pulled this. it out on purpose. Someone butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. Why would they do this was the question. Okay, that's a good question. So now we need to get back to the house. And put the fuse back in. That was a heck of a, that was a heck of a dotted trail, man. If you had started this quest with find the fuse and told me it ended with inside the deer, I would have said, no, that doesn't make sense. I remember back in the day, some twisted kids in the area played with the occult. But I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. But clearly the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. Ah ha ha, that would be sad. Yet, somehow, hilarious. Okay, um, where's the house? There it is. Just don't make me go out there at night. I'm gonna get, I'd get so lost. Honey, I found the fuse, bye. Was that there before? I don't remember. Where are you, fuse box? There you are. Whoa. I didn't do that. What was that? The power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much poll. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. And it's only the third month. What's it going to be like by the ninth? She's pregnant. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Box full of cash. Uh, yeah, please. Here. And open the box. Oh, no luck. Plenty of tomatoes and sardines, though. So we're set should the worst happen. As long as the worst isn't me going on a killing spree. Boom! <laughs> Jesus, woman! You want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? Wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, 
Where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and stew. Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? Where do we start? Where do we start? We start sometime later. Hey, box full of cash. We did decide to bring it up. Darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? Uh, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition. It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine. Little junk in the trunk going on there, huh, girl? And a dead-eyed look. Paint the wall. Sure, give me to me. All right. If I can't help you. I'll pester you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? I don't know. Am I painting the wall right? Did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. Ugh. Gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, crypt analysis? Thought about becoming a professional Even painter. Before you joined the CIA? How awesome is what? this? What? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back. I like double that agents. That feeling that you can't trust anyone? Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? You can trust me to do a good job on painting the house. How'd you like that? What Whoa! Staring at? Oh, I thought she was can throwing you up. Move that piece of furniture. There's something behind it. I don't know. I was too busy painting. I did a fantastic job. Look. Look. Look at that. That's what happens when when a real professional handles the housework. Yeah, there's our there's our top hat. Now I regret putting that thing on my head. I wonder who that guy was. Maybe if we hang this in the bedroom, you'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything. I'd hang you first. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy, you're going to the basement. That's the proper place for gentlemen from the previous wow. century. She's got some fancy clothes completely covered in paint. These people don't do things well. They do things the, the wrong way, is what I'm trying to say. Well, the house is looking better, though. I'll give them credit. I mean, it's still the 70s. But it's clean. Whoops. Oh well. Let's just mess up the house. She gave us such a hard time, maybe we give her something to do. Oh, fizzy cola on the floor. No. Creamer? Oh yeah, creamer goes on the couch. Along with this plate, we'll just go Wah! stack of plates. Oh, they stuck to the mug. <laughs> I want to see how long we go before that phone ringing is too irritating. I'm there. Oh, dude. This is like 70s psychedelic nightmare. What is this? Hello? It's David. So, this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now. So I thought, maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I'd better call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. 
And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams? What happened? I don't know. Stress. He's been paranoid lately, seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck! O on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. Not Mildred. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. Yeah, I... I oh. There goes my vacation. What vacation? The cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already. And I left out the fact that they did this in five days, just the two of them. I call BS on that. Like, there's not enough S for the BS I have to call on that. Ew. They spilled something all over the cabinet. Ew. These big open fireplaces. You could have used, you know, not dirty rugs on the floor. That's just me, though. I'm a stickler. The lighter would be good. Better than carrying around all those matches. Okay. Ooh, wait. What's this? President Carter's speech, entitled Crisis of Identity, was concluded with a reflection concerning the Soviets. Their most powerful weapon is not the atom bomb, but a unique capacity to drive other nations into madness and chaos. Carter believes that at this stage of the Cold War, our nation needs unity more than anything else. Because our enemy's only chance is in making Americans doubt their government and all the values that this country has been built upon. In other news, the St. Louis Cardinals won yesterday's game at the Memorial Stadium. Yeah, they knew I don't like sports. They cut it off at the right time. Okay, you know what? I think we'll pick up here next time. I think this is a good enough place to stop for now. Why? You guys didn't even plug the lamp in. You just wrapped the cord around and left it there. That's how you got done in five days. You cut a lot of corners. Okay, well, we'll pick it up here next time in our nice, bright, new, clean house. And uh, we'll go see how we can make it a lot worse uh, through, you know, horror and uh, mayhem and things like that. Either way, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.